Steve Dotto here. I'm glad you're joining us today. And today, we are taking on a challenging topic. Which one is better? Google Drive or Dropbox? Ah, this is going to be a challenge, and I know some people are going to be mad at me. Oh, well, I, I'll take that. Um, I've been using Dropbox for a long time, and I've been I was using Google Docs for a long time, and been using Google Drive for a long time. I think that the success of Dropbox caused Google to kind of change direction a little bit with their online storage system, with, with Google Docs at the time it was called, and converted into Drive because of the success that Dropbox had. Dropbox has a lot of visitors, or a lot of users, and they have made a very simple, very elegant online sharing file backup, file sharing system. And Dropbox is really the standard by which others are measured and should be measured, mainly because of its ease of use and the fact they've had so much success in getting people to sign up for it. And they use the freemium model, as does Google and most everybody else, where they give you a certain amount for free, uh, get you kind of using it, seeing the value, and then charging you a premium to, in, in this case, increase the amount of storage that you have. So most of us now are using one service or the other. I would say the majority of people are still using a free service, and they have to make a decision at some point which one they want to use when they have to start paying. A lot of people use all the different services with just little chunks of free uh, free online storage. And so their their data is is divided amongst four, three or four or five or six different online storage solutions. Probably not the best idea, but certainly the most economical as far as that's concerned. But let's see if we can drill down a little bit into the main differences between Dropbox and, uh, and Google Drive. So to begin with, I guess we gotta talk price first and foremost, because uh, and when we talk price, let's first of all talk about how much free storage you get. Now with uh, Dropbox, you get, start with two gigabytes of free storage right out of the gate, and then if you refer people to sign up, you get like 250 megabytes for every friend that signs up, up to a maximum of 16 gigabytes of free space. Oh, it's 500 megabytes per person. There it is. Up to 16 gigabytes of space. Then, once you've reached and tapped out that 16 gigabytes, you have to consider upgrading. And their plans are at 100, 200, or 500 gigabytes for the end user, for the average person. Uh, business users have different plans available to them. But that costs $10 a month. Fairly dear when you stop and think about it. How, if we take a look at the Google solution, your Google Drive comes starts with 15 gigabytes of space. Now, there's a asterisk. You share the online storage with your Gmail account. So if you've got a Gmail account with lots of attachments, you're already using up quite a bit of your storage. In my case, I actually have a fairly big Gmail account, and you can see I'm using up about 2.35 gigabytes. Most of that is in email of my free 15 gigabytes that's included with my Gmail or my Google Drive account. It's all Google account. It's all kind of all together. And that's one of the real benefits, and that's one of the things that Google is going to be counting on, is the fact it's so convenient because all of our, our Google Plus, our, our Google Drive, our Gmail account are all in the same account. Now, their plans, if we want to increase to 100 gigabytes a month, start at $4.99 for 100 gigabytes, and that's a lot of online storage. And uh, for the same price as you're gonna pay for 100 gigabytes of Dropbox storage, you're gonna get 200 gigabytes of storage in Google. Um, I don't think that there's a big difference between the uh, how secure your data is online with either of these carriers. Uh, they both offer two-step authentication. So really, when we stop and think about just how much it costs, first of all, how much you get for free, and then how much you get when you pay for storage, Google Drive really comes out pretty far ahead of, of, uh, of Dropbox. Okay, that's step one. We've established that as far as bang for your buck, storage for your buck, your free buck, or your paid buck, Google Drive wins. And for a lot of people, that's going to be the end of the story. They're just going to go, well, I'm going to use Google Drive then. But that is not the end of the story because there are, it's how we also use the software and, and how, how easy it is to use, uh, which really comes to play as well. Now, as far as sharing files or moving files into and storing them on either of the devices, they both come with desktop clients. Now, we can see mine installed here. This is my Dropbox account right here, which you can see 
have access to here, and my Google Drive account, which I have here. Now on the Macintosh, for instance, you can reach them and you can see all of those, all of your, your Drive and your Dropbox folder. It, it's actually, a, they are folders right within your desktop that you can gain access to. Now you can install the desktop app on all of your computers. So I've got this on my desktop and on my notebook computer. And then you can ask the services to sync your files between those two services, meaning that you don't just have access to your files when you're connected to the internet, but you also have access to all of your files that are in these different storage devices when you are offline as well, and they're synced. So it acts as a poor man's backup system at this point because your files are synced, are backed up if you have two computers in three places, each computer and online on the web. So if you think about that, that is an excellent option. Now, because you might be starting out with a free service, in both cases, you might want to be able to go in and actually determine exactly which items are shared and not, because you might not want to share all of the items that you put in your Dropbox folder or in your Dropbox or in your Google Drive folder. And indeed, in the, if you go into the Google Drive preferences, you can go in there and yeah, come on, load up for me, please load. There it is. And you can choose exactly which folders you want to sync and which ones you don't want to sync if indeed storage is an issue. So you can do that right within Google Drive. Now in Dropbox, it's very similar, but slightly different to set up the syncing preferences. We go into the gear icon, which is the pre includes the preferences, and there you choose preferences. And within preferences, you have to go to advanced. It's a few more steps to get to it. There we go into selective sync. And this is where you have a very similar dialog box that allows you to choose which folders and which files you want to sync between your different hardware devices. And this of course also works for your mobility devices. So this is a great way to determine exactly what you want to sync and how you want to sync and exactly what you want to live where. Uh, pretty much a saw off as far as the syncing process between devices and the online world between, the, between Google Drive and between Dropbox. Now, this is an area, and it, the next area that I want to talk about is sharing. And sharing files is one area that I actually think Dropbox, I prefer using Dropbox, and there's only one reason. It's the convenience of sharing documents. Here's how I share a document that I have in a Dropbox folder. You go into Dropbox, you open your Dropbox folder, there's my Dropbox folder, and if I just want to share this graphic with somebody, all I have to do is right click on it, click on share Dropbox link, it copies into my clipboard a, a link that people can click on to download or to collaborate on that document. Very, very easy. And I do it right here from the desktop client. I haven't discovered a way to share a document using the Google Drive desktop client. Instead, what you have to do is you actually have to go and you have to visit Google Drive on the web, which means open your account in, in, a, in a web browser. In my case, I've opened it here in Chrome. Then you have to either, while you're working on a document, you have the option to share it. Or if you just want to take this document here, let's say I want to share this presentation with somebody, I click on it here, and then I choose under the More dropdown, I can choose to share it. And I've got the same basic sharing options as I have in Dropbox. It's just I have a few extra steps where I have to go to the web and share it from the web. There might be an easier way to do it. I haven't discovered it. And I looked online, and I couldn't find any easier way. So I think this is the way that uh, this is the way that you have to do it. So the sharing, it's just as good as far as sharing, you can collaborate on documents and all of those sorts of things. But you have to take these extra steps to get here. Now, while I'm here in Google Drive on the web, this is other than the price, what we have here is probably the biggest advantage that Google Drive represents. And that is they have this series of tools available to us, including a word processor, presentation package, spreadsheet, a forms creation tool. And I've showed you how to create free forms using Google Docs or Google Drive in the past. And also a drawing tool. Uh, and you can also add other functionality to it here. But these tools here, this, this basic office suite, is free online and available to us. And any documents that we create here are automatically saved in our Google Drive. So if you aren't using another Office package, if you aren't using Microsoft Word or Microsoft 365 or something along that line, then this is a great way to do things using these word processors and spreadsheets. They're not as fully featured as the Microsoft equivalent, 
but they are free and they and they do integrate really nicely here. You know, mentioning Microsoft 365 opens, of course, a whole other can of worms because I'm only comparing in this particular video Google Drive and Dropbox, and we aren't talking about SkyDrive and Office 365. That, my friends, is for another video. <laughs> Let's see, because it'll just get too confusing. This we just want one winner. We don't want if you do this and if you do that. We want one winner. I'm not sure I'm going to get a winner, but we want a winner. Okay. So this is, uh, as I mentioned, this this file, this ability to 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 do uh, to use applications within Google Drive, a big advantage for Google Drive. And the last area that I'm going to talk about, as far as this goes, is how good the search features are in both. And here's, it's almost unfair at this particular point because all of your documents that are in Google Drive mean that you can use Google to search for the documents. You can search for content within the documents. And Google search is so, I mean, that's that's the basis of their business. So finding documents within your Dropbox folder is as good as your desktop search is, as good as your search is that's built into your operating system. In my case, the Mac does quite a good job of searching my, my, my Dropbox folder for anything I need to find. However, in Google Drive, Google, if you go into your web browser here, if you just do a search right here within, within Google, it does a spectacular job of doing search. This is, uh, this is one area that I don't think that Dropbox will ever be able to come up to and meet the, uh, the standard that is put forward by Google. So at the end of the day, do I have a winner? I think if you don't, if you are using Dropbox and you're happy with it, you have a subscription and it's working for you, I see no reason to change because it's an exceptionally good product. If you're using Google Drive and you're happy with it, I also see no reason to change. If you're using both of them, but you really want to kind of hitch your cart to one of them and you aren't already invested heavily in one or the other, I think Google Drive is ultimately the winner. <laughs> Ironically, uh, I say that, but I'll continue to use Dropbox because I have a, an account with them. Uh, but I will continue to use both, actually. But Dropbox will still be my main storage, uh, my main storage uh, system. Uh, but I would have no trouble at all uh, switching over to Dropbox should I need to. Uh, and when my account is due, when I have to pay again, I'm going to look long and hard and think twice about whether or not I'm going to remain with Dropbox. I do like that convenience of file sharing, but I like pretty much everything else that's happening in the Google Drive world instead of Dropbox. Both still exceptional products. So that brings us to the end of this particular video. I hope you found it useful uh, and learned something from it. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up. We like the we like the extra credibility that it happens when you share that on YouTube. And don't forget to subscribe to our videos. Every week we produce a brand new uh, productivity video. And if you subscribe, you are one of the first people that get to see it, which is, I think you would agree, just totally awesome for you and for me. Have a great day. I'm Steve Dotto. We'll see you soon.